New AirTags, Australians continuing to use technology to work from outside the office and the Ecovax robot vacuum cleaners just keep on getting better. Joining me live is editor of Tech Guide, Stephen Fennick. Hey, Fenner. Good morning, Timmy. How are you doing? Good, buddy. Tell us about these AirTags. Yeah, well, uh, it's actually Apple working together with Google on the updating the AirTag technology and similar products, so AirTags and uh, and the, the Chipolos, the Tiles. So the idea behind this is to create a new specification that will make it harder for people to track people who are unwanted tracking. So what you what, what the specification is going to do is to make it easier for these manufacturers and also for the iOS and Google platform to prevent unwanted tracking. So a year ago, you might remember that Apple actually updated the AirTag so that if there was an AirTag in your vicinity, that was that was constantly travelling with you. You would get a notification, so that would that would alert the user that someone that, that there, there's an air tag near them that's travelling with them. So someone's placed the air tag to track them. So with this new specification, they're hoping it makes it easier for whichever company wants to adopt the technology to prevent that unwanted tracking, to provide those notifications, to provide that specification, to make it harder for stalkers to 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 find uh, to to sneak those little devices into your your backpack, into your into your car, things like that. So it does protect the uh, some people who don't want to be tracked. Now we saw particularly through the COVID period. People become nimble, pivot, all those words became very relevant. Working from home? Yeah, well, there was a report that was released by Aussie startup Espresso Displays, and they actually launched their business a year or two just run. before COVID. So perfect timing to have their products. So their products are 13-inch and 15-inch displays, ultra portable, so you can take them with you, connect them to your laptop, increase your screen real estate, be more productive. So their study among more than 1,000 corporate workers showed that this is now the norm. 60% of businesses now offer that sort of flexibility for their employees to work from home or work from anywhere a couple of days a week. So rather than being stuck in an office five days a week, they are giving them the flexibility. That means, though, that 40% of businesses aren't offering that flexibility, and it's a real deal-breaker for a lot of employees. Uh, since COVID, they now expect this, this freedom to be able to still do their work but to do it from anywhere. I've always said work is a thing you do rather than than a place you go, and this study absolutely shows that. So it does show that people are willing to work from anywhere, but also having a product like the Espresso Display to double your screen real estate would, would according to the survey, make them 60% uh, said it'd make them even more productive when they are uh, when they are working on the move. Now, when you've got a busy family, busy house like we do, um, and I've got my hand up here, we've got the Ecovax vacuum cleaner. It's just sensational. Also saves your back. Um, what's the latest there? Yep. Well, they've made a bit of a price breakthrough. Ecovax have been in the game for quite a while, and they've got the, the new N10 Plus model. So with this model, it includes like improved suction, like 4,300 4, PA suction. Uh, it's got true mapping technology. It's got a, a, an auto-empty base station as well, uh, avoidance technology, so it, doesn't, it can avoid obstacles. It's come in under $1,000 for the first time. So this, I think, is going to be... This is going to move the needle in terms of customer take-up. We're seeing that the technology that was once flagship on their top-of-the-line products are filtering down now to their more affordable products. And with, with this release of the N10+, Plus under 1000 bucks, with the auto-empty auto station, that's going to be... Uh, I think it's going to entice a lot of customers. With the auto-empty station... You don't have to touch it for six weeks. So the, it goes about its business doing a mopping, doing the vacuuming, and then when it gets to the base station, it actually uploads all the dust into a big 2.5-litre bag so that after six weeks' time, all you need to do is just throw that bag away, put a new bag in there, and then and then Bob's your uncle. So uh, it is really does save you time. As you said, does save you back, uh, yes. giving us time back that we didn't normally have before. Yeah, amazing stuff. All right, mate, finally, and very, very quickly, uh, give me a score. Uh, it's got to be the marquee game of the Magic Round, doesn't it? Uh, the mighty South Sydney yeah, Rabbitohs uh, taking on the mighty Melbourne. Absolutely. 
We owe them, mate. A few weeks ago, uh, South mm. played well, did not not their best, and, uh, and we lost. Uh, I think I'm tipping about 26-10 will win this uh, the game tonight. So, And uh, I reckon Campbell Graham for first try score is going to continue his form from last week. South Sydney fans, they are daring to dream. Good on you, Fenner. <laughs> Thanks, mate.